Well guys, out again on another adventure. Wild camp. Um this time we're in the lakes. Look at that. That's a canny view, isn't it? We'll just park just down there at the church. That'll probably give it away. Yeah, we're just near Ullswater, that's Martindale Church. And we're just walking up on the top of Hallin Fell. Just gonna pitch up there for the night. There's quite a few cars, so it's probably gonna be quite a few tents. That's right, I'm sure we can find a spot away from everyone. Look at that for a view though. Yeah. There's someone, I don't know if you can make it out there, a little red tent. Just pitched just up there. You've got the right idea. You didn't have to walk too far, did they? Probably getting the views down towards Pooley Bridge. Um, so yeah, we'll continue on. Up the top of here, get pitched, have some tea. It's 10 to 7. Got a couple of hours before it gets dark. And uh, he's ready to go look, aren't you? So, yeah, let's get up there and get with pitch, and then I'll bring you back. Well, guys, out again. Look at that, eh? Bull's water in the Lake District. Beautiful. So we're at Hel Hallen Fell in the part of Martindale Church. Come right down there, look. There's quite a few people in the car park, but to be honest, that's the only tent I can see. We've got a place to ourselves. Look. He's just having his tea, look. Back out in the old faithful, the nature hike. Got up keep peak two. Pretty much the same as last time. I've got the foil mat I got from the range for £2.50 for him, just to lie on. I've got me the thigh in, 900. You see something mat, which you all know about. I keep on about it. Super comfy, bit overkill, but I love it. And I've got a couple of cans of cider. I've got chicken curry, a pot noodle to have, bag of M&M's somewhere. And yeah, just chill out really. So, that though, that's beautiful, isn't it? So we're just gonna enjoy, as always, just sit back, kick, put our feet up, have some food, have some drink, and just relax. What do you say? Hmm? <laughs> it says I'm eating me tea. Right, catch us in a bit. I was just reminiscing before there. Um, came here a few years ago. I think it was there. Uh, was it my second ever wild camp, maybe? Um, so yeah, came here. All pro pioneer. My little tent. I think I had a Bergen back then. Loads of stuff. Just changed so much since then. So I think I, because I think I did Rothbury. That was my first wild camp. And then I came here. I was just getting into practice for wild camping before I went on the Great Glen Way. So yeah, I'll tell you what is it. I bet it was three years ago. So what a photo there. A year later, I'll be sitting back here again. Slightly better kit, well, a lot better kit. Same little friend, pretty much the same view. That's just uh, uncooked me tea. And I had this. Two pounds for four cans from Aldi. So, give it a go there, I don't think I'll be getting it again. Like, it's refreshing, but I prefer that I'll go over cider. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get my tea, so I'll catch you later. Oh. Good morning. Well, I can honestly say that's the best night's sleep I've ever had. I think I slept right through from probably half past ten till 
half past six. So that's the first. Mind. Um, I'll tell you what I did use. This little blindfold. Had that on. So when the, it gets a bit light, it doesn't wake you up. But look at this though. Look at that. He's up there enjoying the sunrise. Isn't that lovely? Right, let's get the kettle on. Look the cloud version there, look. Coming down the valley. Someone up on the top there, look, with a dog. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera. And there's our little home for the night. What do you say? Hmm? Right, it's the first time I've had one of them bad boys. Um, so we'll give that a go. See what it's like. So basically, you, you boil the water, you open the sachet, you put the water in up until the fill mark, and then you seal it. It's just got like a little click seal, that's what the word is. Just seal it to rehydrate for about eight minutes. And then we'll eat it, obviously. So... Smells nice though. We're looking forward to trying that out. Again, taking in all the views, look. So, I have a coffee. And just sit back and enjoy. So, it's September next week. Um, so, I've done half a dozen wild camps this year. The post last year, I think I did one. I was disappointed with myself. I don't know why. Just never got around to doing them. And uh, I do really enjoy them. So I might get out and do a couple more. Might even try a winter wild camp. You know, because I've got the I've got the mat in the bag. And the tent should be all right as long as it's not extreme weather. You know, because it's it says it's a season four tent, but. It's not really, it's probably a three, three and a half. I think you could get away with it in this country though, um, unless you were going to get heavy snow. But yes, Lake District, beautiful. Um, but it is a long way to come, with the cost of living and petrol and this, that and that, so it might be like a once a year thing. You know, because a lot of the wild camps I do solo, so it's not as if you can share costs and nothing like that. But I do love the Cheviots in Northumberland, so I'm happy, happy up there. But yeah, so we're going to get my breakfast, have a coffee, and just slowly get packed up. You know, I know normally wild campers, you know, you pitch late and leave early, but to be honest, there's nothing spoiling here. You know what I mean? You can, you'd can stay here an hour or two. It's only just gone seven. There's nobody going to come and chase you off here. So, just take it all in, enjoy it. Right, the verdict's in. So, I would say that is very tasty, really nice, really enjoyed it. However, when you think you're paying nearly six pounds for one of them, that's a lot of money, you know. I'm sure everyone now is watching the pennies a little bit more. This energy crisis and what have you. Cost of living, inflation. And when you think 
you could probably subsidize that for a 50 pence pot of porridge a pot of porridge <laughs> um and a little bit of fruit and even a little breakfast bar probably totaling about a pound so for all that was really nice i don't think i'll be buying them happy to get them as gifts for birthdays and christmases or whatever but when you think you know you're paying five pound for something that you could probably sort of do yourself for a pound you kind of justify the money man anyway it was really nice though and if adventure food want to give us any more for free <laughs> Send us as many as you like, but five pounds a bit, uh, a bit rich at the minute. Better things to spend money on, like heating, hot water, <laughs> existing, living. But yeah, nice. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I've got to have a coffee in the morning. Nice black coffee. Whew. Look at this, man. It's just no breeze. Scored really lucky. <coughs> this camp and me last one, the high cup nick. No rain. No wind. It's amazing, isn't it, for the end of August? August bank holiday, so yeah. There's a few shows on at the lakes this weekend. It was really busy when I was driving around yesterday. Look, he's packed up there. Can you see him on the top there? He's just put his bag on his back. He must be a way off. He's got a dog as well. But uh, I was quite surprised because when I pulled up the car park, there must have been a dozen cars. And I thought, oh, it's going to be busy up here. I mean, I think it will be just up there. Because that's where the trick point is, the, the, the summit stone, as I call it. Um, I think that's where I wild camped last year, just from, well, probably where he was. But as I say, I've come round here and you can probably see. Apart from them down there, there's not a soul about. Um, so wild camp wise, Obviously here, you haven't really got many places to pitch. There's a place just there. Just there. Um, I tried to pitch there last night, but it it wasn't uh, wide enough for the tent. You could probably get like a narrow tent in, like the, the Pioneer. But uh, yeah, just had to move the tent down here. But you can see here, look. There's no one to pitch here. But there, there are places. And the good, I suppose the good thing is because they're scattered about, nobody comes next to you. Anyway, I'm waffling on again. So, get with coffee, get packed up. Right, there you go. Thank you, Holland Fell. That's our wild camp last night. And a pick of litter. Got my bag. We move a so we'll have a walk back, and if we see any there, we'll pick it up. Because that's what you do. And we'll just head up that way to the summit. And down to the car. Right. You ready? <laughs> He's ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Right, we're at the top. Come on, there's some rubbish, look. Oh, big treats. Gummy bears. Maybe they dropped it by accident. Who knows? That's it. Drop it back in. There's the can, look. There 
Nice one in there. Hold on, he's tangled on a rock. Oh dear. Right, head back to the car. Oh, I just took my breath away coming up that steep bank. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll try and keep the content going. My channel is growing slowly, but we're getting there, and it's uh, it's great. It's great for me, memories for me and him. So look back on, watched the whole of Great Glen Way the other day, and it's interesting. You know, it brings back all the memories of the adventures we had. So. Anyway, see you on the next one. Take care.